Hi Scorpio, welcome to your after the retrograde forecast. You know what? I don't actually know what happened to the video. Um, I've also recorded one video for a client, and then same thing happened. So I already pulled out the um, the other microphone. Actually, they have two microphones. So whenever the other mic is off. The, um, the other one becomes the default uh, microphone, and it's actually far from here. That's why you heard a lot of noises, and there's just a very small voice. So, okay. You know, um, the first... Um, the first... Well, the previous reading that I've done for Scorpio is really, really good. You know, it's like... A, I don't see any problem with their relationships. It's like Scorpio already found their destiny and they're really meant to be. Well, now let's take a look what will the cards say about Scorpios. And please take note that this is only a general reading. It doesn't really apply to all the Scorpions out there. Alright? And please check your moon rising. Alright, I will be doing four different spreads using four different decks. Um, how do you see each other? Um, how do you hurt each other? Where do you, um, where do you go from here and the bottom line? Alright. So let's take a look first. This is you. This is your partner. This is your main aim. Oh, still good. Still good. Alright, let's take a look at what hurts you. Or how do you hurt each other. Okay, Scorpio, you've been working so hard. It's like you are, you know, <clears throat> doing anything and everything just to provide for your partner, you know, a better life. And it seems like there will also be some changes in your home environment soon. Or you could be relocating or thinking of buying a new home or moving to a new place. Your partner, however, especially if you're with an air sign or a fire sign, is kind of looking for themselves. It looks like... Both of you are, you know, both of you are somewhat in a leadership position. Both of you are somewhat, you know, have a good opportunity. But it seems like whatever it is that, you know, that sometimes you're having some misunderstandings, it is because that you don't really communicate well and you're so afraid of asking things to each other or you're just afraid to, you know, to get the right answer and not be able to take it. Now... Sometimes you act like a, you know, like a very cold and dry and, uh, cut off and dry, sorry, and uh, very cold and uh, mean and cruel to your partner. And then your partner starts to think that, why, why is my partner acting like that? It's like you're also not really taking care of your health. And, um, even if your partner tries to advise you to, you know, to take it slow and to take it easy, you're not really listening. And your health is already suffering from your, from your behavior like, or from your habit of working too hard. But then at the end of the day, the two of you will be working things out, will work as a team, and will support each other. Okay? You're ready to offer your cup of love to your partner and your partner feels like you're really meant to be with each other there's like a soulmate connection or past life connection and scorpio you really found the right one now how do you hurt each other you know at this point as i've said that you are both afraid to hurt each other you're both afraid to ask like you know like um like sometimes you just wanted to confirm something you want to advise something but you're so afraid that you might just deliver the wrong words and you're very intuitive 
Yet somehow, if there is something that you wanted to say and you feel like you know how your partner will be reacting, you just choose not to say it. And your partner feels like sometimes you don't really care. Sometimes you, they feel like you just, you know, you just ignore, say, you ignore things, you just ignore their plea, or you just simply ignore whatever it is that they want from you. And sometimes, even if they're in a very tired kind of a situation, you don't really, you know, it's like for them, you don't really give any, you know, um, attention. Let's just put it this way. You, you don't really give a damn about, you know, about whatever that happens to them. Which is, this is the reason why you're having some miscommunications. You're so afraid that if you say something, your partner will get upset or they will just revoke your your advice or your, you know, your suggestion. And then your partner feels like if you're not really paying attention or if you're not really saying anything, they feel like you don't really care. Now, and that is, you know, your partner is a little bit clingy and needy. Even though they're very independent, even though they're somewhat older than you for some, or it could be reversed. They still wanted to feel like, you know, they are your baby or they are your, you know, your priority. And uh, even if you already have kids, it seems like they still want to feel that love of how you used to be and that, you know, that languid feeling. I mean, sometimes it's okay to be sweet and romantic and, uh, you know, act like a little bit of a child, but not too much. Okay. And your partner feels like sometimes you're too stiff, you're too cold, you're too emotionally stingy, and you don't really share whatever that's inside your heart, your mind, and it's like sometimes, you know, they feel like you don't really exist. It's like you're there physically, but emotionally and spiritually you're not there. It's like sometimes you're out of space, okay? And... You will soon both realize all of your shortcomings and all of your differences that you will just sit down and talk and one of you needs to act like an adult, okay, and talk things out. There are some things that you that your partner have already missed, three, three things, because of both of you are holding back your feelings and both of you are holding back your emotions. And you, you keep on thinking about your family, you're too busy about responsibilities and... Uh, provision and uh, you know obligations and I feel like all you need right now is to get away and to have a little bit of a travel to reconnect and to rekindle your chemistry okay so let's take a look at your where do you go from here and the bottom line no oh. It looks like Scorpio, this is really a very good time for you. So, let's take a look. Where do you go from here? This is your current situation. What causes your problem? I just I don't see any problem. What you've forgotten to express. What you've forgotten to respect. Your options. Mm And like what I said, you're so, you're both afraid of saying things to each other because you're so afraid of hurting each other. Which is, you know what, that, that is a very good thing. That is a very ideal and loving relationship. But you know, sometimes you just need to be more upfront and honest with each other instead of hiding your feelings. Instead of saying, I'm okay, even though you're not. Although, you expect 
for your partner to read whatever that's inside your head, your mind, your heart. That if they are really one with you, they should be able to read. You know, that even if you say you're okay, they should be able to see the hurt in your eyes. The pain that you've been hiding on the inside. And you expect them to be a little bit more sensitive than that. But you know what? Most of the time, we always fail because of that. Because we expect too much from our power, from our, uh, sorry, from our partners. And it's like they also expect too much from us. So this is your current, this is where you stand right now, your current standing. Alright. Now, as I've said that your main problem right now is the communication. All you need right now is just to take that step forward and be, you know, be courageous, be bold and daring, be upfront, be honest, be transparent, no secrets and no lies. And I feel like you just need to open up your heart, open up your mind and no judging. Okay? Now, what you have forgotten to express is that sometimes you feel so hurt. Sometimes you're already offended. Sometimes you're, you are already jealous. Sometimes you're already upset. But you don't want to express it because you don't want to ruin the relationship. You are, it's like you're putting your relationship in a pedestal. Okay? To the extent that you just, you're so afraid of breaking it. But, you know, sometimes it is also healthy to have an argument. You know, but not to the extent of, um... Not to the extent of, um, you know, cursing at each other and stuff like that. Because th that is no longer healthy. And what you have forgotten to respect is that expect more changes that's going to be coming your way. No people, no couples, no relationship, and nothing stays the same over time. Time changes everything. We grow up, we evolve, and, you know, we recreate ourselves and we recycle problems. And you just need to open up your eyes through this, that it's not always rainbows and candies, okay? You don't really have to be so afraid of saying whatever that's inside your mind, whatever that's inside your heart. And if you feel like your partner is doing something wrong, you have to tell them. Instead of just, you know, making them feel that they should be able to know whatever that they're doing is wrong. But because sometimes, surprisingly, some people, even if they're over the old, they are that immature that they cannot really mirror themselves and they cannot reflect on them, on themselves and their on and their own actions. That, you know, they don't know that whatever they're doing is wrong. So that is also partly your obligation. And you don't really have to stand proud. You don't really have to, you know, be a little bit more cruel or mean or cold. And don't show that you don't really care. Sometimes you have to show your your concern by saying the things that you really mean. Okay, and, but don't be so mean. And the bottom line here is the two of you will still be working things out and working as a team. And we'll be laying down all your cards on the table and, you know, decide what needs to be eliminated and what needs to be kept. Okay? Now, this is where you stand in your relationship. Your partner, however, feels like they just wanted to move on. Or they just wanted to, sometimes they just want to walk away. Because they feel so unloved. They feel like you're not really paying attention to them. While you, you're so busy with your work. You're so busy working. You're so busy making money. You're very successful. And yet, there are some things that you just need to pay attention to. Now, there will be a transitional phase that the two of you will be going through. And changes are also coming up ahead. 
There is also like a um, karmic cycle that will also be taking place in manifesting. You just need to be careful about your major decisions. Your partner will try to be a little bit more stronger because they feel like you really belong together and that you are meant to be together. That you are soulmates, you're one and the same, and you have same thoughts, same feelings, same energy, and same wavelength. And they are still trying to hold on, you know? until the time comes that they will be understanding the situation that instead of you know going against the tide they are just they, they will just learn how to get along with it okay so the two of you i feel like we'll learn how to forgive understand and work things out and th you know and it will be a very long-term relationship this is a very good scorpio still the cards seem to be very friendly to you you know even if this is the second reading and hopefully the audio will do well and i am you know really happy for you as well so anyway that's it for you for this time scorpio and uh if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net all right blessings to you